Hey there YouTube, Bad Fat Panda, and I have <laughs> Bad Fat Panda here, whoa, and uh, I have another video for you guys, so it's been a little while since we've talked last, uh, and I've gotten to play a bit more of the game. Um, this is actually a gameplay on dom of Domination on Outpost, I think it is. I have to say that, uh, straight up, the thing I don't like about the game the most uh, is probably the maps. I find that it makes um, sniping and LMG classes completely pretty much useless. I mean, they have utility still, obviously, but it's very, very limited in what they can do and, and the map set. So, uh, I think this is actually with a full party, and uh, probably either the day it came out, Tuesday or Wednesday. But uh, this map specifically, I like the amount of flank paths it has. Uh, I think that there are a lot of choke points that eventually will sort of feel the congregation, and there are other people like that that just sit in various places in the back of the map, and that's going to takes me getting used to, but I feel that when people don't know maps, they tend to uh, be a lot less active and a lot more campy. So, obviously running into that a lot, I'm sure you guys have relatively the same feeling. If you haven't, please let me know, because I want to get in your lobbies. Um, but that's going to wane out eventually, and uh, by that time, Christmas noobs will be out, and uh, we will all be slaughtering them. But yeah, I'm de definitely disappointed in the map uh, selection that they gave us to offer. Um, but... Other than that, I mean, I still really like the game. I can find myself playing it for a while, and uh, Black Ops was pretty much day one or day two. I found myself, like, I'm not going to be able to do this for a year or whatever. And Midnight's going to snipe. I like the, uh, there are a lot of challenges, including the Halo, I guess, uh, sort of a ripoff of Halo. They do the uh, weekly challenge. I haven't actually seen that yet, but I've heard that it exists. I think this one is uh, airdrops, enemy killing... People with booby trap airdrops, I think, is one of them, or it. I don't know how many there are. And holy assist, Batman. I get a fair amount of this game, I think. I am using the uh, CM901, I think. Possibly, maybe, yes. Uh, I really like it, actually. It's one of the assault rifles you unlock first, and I'm not a big assault rifle person, uh, but this was actually pre PP90, um, which is my new favorite gun, I have to say. It is, it is quite, quite, quite good. Although, if you're looking for uh, something a little bit OP, I would definitely suggest that you type 95 with rapid fire. It's probably too easy. Um, actually, if you use it silenced with two attachments, uh, I like to run either Scavenger or Extreme Conditioning, I think, on that class. Because Scavenger, it runs through ammo very, very fast. It's like the FAMAS, except a lot better. I think I got a one-shot one, uh, one shot kill in stomach with the silencer at like, mid to long range, uh, which is pretty, pretty good. And uh, rapid fire just makes the uh, burst... Uh, timing so so ridiculously short so it is quite good I think uh, that will be the first thing that gets patched uh, among other bugs and stuff I mean there are already two patches out on the game but they're just little hot fixes so aside from that really uh, weapon wise the PP90 um, really like that the P90 is sort of mad for me I, I haven't used it as much and I will get to that in the uh, near future but I also like the G36 key um, Definitely, it, it sort of revokes COD or uh, invokes COD 4, and especially with the maps, they they seem very COD 4 maps. Like the one, um, I forget the name of it, but the one is almost exactly like uh, God damn it, I can't even remember the COD 4 equivalent now. But the one uh, showdown, that's what. Uh, one map is is quite similar to showdown with a like random castle ramparts type themed uh, cannons and everywhere. I don't know, it's kind of awkward. But uh, aside from that. I think that the uh, very, very small maps, I think that that's good. It promotes less camping, but it also takes away a lot of uh, different styles of play of the game. I remember, like, we all downloaded Derail and stuff, and I'm pretty sure that's the feedback that lent the uh, developers to just say, hey, what's up, you know? Small maps. Yo. Um, but aside from that, I think that, I don't know, there were games of Derail that I had that were very fun. Just running around with a Silent SMG all game. Obviously, the uh, two choke points in the rooms were just hideous and needed to be reworked, but, uh... Oh, commando. Yeah, this other problem is the lag. Um, I find that it often doesn't pick probably the best host. Um, but it, it's nowhere near as bad as uh, when Black Ops came out. Of course, we had, like, the down party system, and god, that was just a horrific launch. But, um... I don't know. Aside from that, I, I really actually like it. So... I, uh... Oh, triple. Nice. And did I kill myself? Yeah, I did. I'm a boss. So I'll call it a quad. Uh, as far as perks go, actually, uh, the the per new perks 
I think are actually pretty cool. Uh, Marksman is really underrated. I find that not many people use it, and it's really, really, really good. I even have that on uh, one of my submachine gun classes, I forget which one. But on submachine gun classes and uh, shotgun classes, I really like either Study Aim or uh, Stalker. Stalker is really good. Uh, you can aim fast or move faster while aiming down sights. Uh, obviously, Steady Aim is for uh, the spray and pray in us, which I don't, I haven't unlocked a pro yet. I'm not actually sure what it does, but uh, shotguns definitely feel completely castrated in this game. They just neuter the ever-living shit out of them. There's nothing, like, they're not good. <laughs> it's just not... The Striker is the only one that I can find. Um, aside from the 1887, the 1887 I haven't unlocked it yet myself, but it's supposed to be pretty good. So I will definitely be tuning in for that, but... Aside from that, perks-wise, um... Let's see. I really like Assassin Pro. I think that the Pro perk is probably, um, I wouldn't say overpowered, but I think it's there's a lot of reasons to not choose another red perk than Assassin Pro, because uh, EMPs are not entirely common, but uh, counter UAVs, man, immune to counter UAVs, it's pretty fucking good, and the enemy can't see you. I don't know. Of course, they have overkill in that. I think uh, as a red perk, that's something that kind of rivals it. Uh, other than that, I don't know, there isn't a perk-wise in the uh, third slot for me, at least. I don't find myself using anything other than uh, Marksman or Stalker. Uh, but maybe eventually that'll... Uh... I know they won't add new perks to the game, but there's times when like everybody, especially that one uh, in Black Ops at least, the uh, one perk, uh, you could hack enemy... Was it called just a hi hack or hijacker or whatever? Everybody started using that like a month into the game, people found it. And uh, of course, with Modern Warfare 2, you had... Uh, <laughs> One man army danger close. Hopefully we won't have another incident like that, but uh, I don't know. Let's see if the community managers are uh, more apt to patch things with this game. But uh, I mean, it broke a fair amount of serialist records, I believe. I haven't quite checked up on that. I've been uh, a little bit busy with school. I have an escalator drop, or somebody else does. I'm not sure. If I had it, I'm a complete boss. But uh, kill streak wise I, I always run support. I don't think I've ever ran... Uh, assault. I did try Specialist once or twice. I didn't really find it useful, but I think that with the um, with an LMG class, it maybe might have some use. And oh, I just completely failed by calling it up on the uh, ledge. Fortunately, I can still get all of them. Yay. Yeah, this must be mine because I'm taking them pretty fast. Ballistic vests are also really cool. I think it's a really cool addition. And I, this was the first time I tried to take one with Juggernaut and I found out, nope, you can't. The uh, offensive juggernaut is actually, like, pretty fucking good. I don't find the defensive one to be that good, though, but uh, you shouldn't get something that's completely uh, abusive. <laughs> he knifed me, and yeah. It's fun when you play against people who haven't played that many games. This was this is one of those lobbies, but again, I think this was the first day that came out, so the people have gotten a little bit better uh, in lieu of that. Time, that, uh, the time break. It's been almost a week now, so... There are a lot of people that have already prestiged. I think I thought, saw a uh, third prestige or something <laughs> today when I was when I was playing. It's kind of crazy, but whatever. I mean, if you're in what, if you're in middle school and you have the game, there's really not much else to do. Let's be honest. Advanced UAV. This is this is another th really 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 cool thing that I think they added. Um, if you call them three UAVs, they turn into an advanced UAV until the first one runs out. Uh, I think that is pretty cool. Obviously, you don't have the same ability is the blackbird there is like an actual ticker uh or a scan time but aside from that i think it's really good so yeah that's just a little bit of my uh other impressions on the game since we've uh since i uploaded the last video and sidearms could have definitely gotten a triple there if it had let him but i hope you guys enjoyed if you did click the like button and uh, all that jazz hope you enjoy have a good weekend peace